Hi everybody, welcome to another Toon Boom Harmony tutorial. My name is Frank Summers and this one is going to be about one of my favorite features in Harmony, Shift and Trace. Traditional animators will often take the model packs and they will scale them up and down with an, on a Xerox machine and then they will cut them out, stick them on other pieces of paper and position them just so uh, and they will refer to them as they work to help pull the character on model to correct any proportions as they are working and Harmony has a very similar function. It replicates literally taking the pieces of paper off of the peg bar, unpegging them, shifting them around, and then tracing off of them. So we can say we can do that now by jumping into Harmony. Here I have a couple of keyframes from some animation that you can find up on my YouTube channel of a guy doing some uh, doing a walk cycle. These two keyframes, uh, I broke them a little bit only to help for demonstration purposes. Uh, and in this particular case, I want to take his head here and I want to make it a little bit more along the profile view here. In this second drawing, I just roughly put in where I believe his head will be. And here's the center line, where his center, here's his eye line here. So I'm giving myself some landmarks to work with, a neck and his ear maybe around there somewhere. Uh, we're also going to be using the drawing view quite a bit in this. So if you're unfamiliar with the drawing view and how the onion skin works in there, you may want to go back to, um, back to that previous tutorial on my channel and catch up first. That said, why don't we he head into our drawing tab and what we're going to do is take these drawings and we're going to isolate them. Uh, I'm only dealing with two now for, for the sake of simplicity, um, but you can imagine that you would have a whole bunch of them over here in your, in your X sheet. So why don't we go into our X sheet just by clicking on it over here or wherever you may have it. And we can add these drawings to what's known as the, the desk, quote unquote, the desk. In previous versions of Harmony, this was referred to as quote unquote, send drawings to the drawing view but they have simplified it in 12. Uh, this is where Harmony almost kind of becomes a little bit of a Russian doll where a bigger doll comes out of a smaller doll. Uh, what, now that we're in the drawing view, you're going to see a little tab pop up over here in a second. We can add our drawings to the desk by clicking on them, going to the menu here, going down to drawings, and then down here it says send drawings to desk and pay attention to the left-hand side. Boop, a little tab has reappeared over here. This is like a secondary timeline, functions independently of our timeline down here. And what we want to do is add another drawing. So that this is the one we want to work from. We want to find the drawing we want to trace off, trace, trace, and that's drawing number 27. We can add that again by selecting it, going up to our menu, drawings. And if I was to hit send drawings to desk, it will replace the one that is there. I want to add drawings to the desk. Now they are both there. Both drawings are over here. I can get rid of these drawings from the desk by simply by hitting escape on my keyboard. They're gone. Uh, I'm going to show you a shortcut, which is very handy. Holding down Alt, I'm going to just simply click on each drawing in the X sheet, and as I click them, it adds them. Very handy. So now I'd like to draw your attention over here. Uh, we have four main buttons. I'd like to also say quickly that onion skin needs to be enabled. If onion skin is off, these are grayed out. They are not accessible. Turning onion skin on makes them appear. The first button is simply to enable the shift and shift and trace. You can turn it off if you need to check your drawings as you work and turn it on as you need. Uh, we're going to keep it on. The next tool is, is the actual shift and trace tool by clicking on that. You will see it's some bar. A bar has appeared down here with some handles it replicating a peg bar. If I was to grab it from the center, it moves the drawing around. These rotate it and these handles scale it up and down. I believe it is pulling the pivot from the pivot of the drawing, whatever that possibly would be for you. Uh, if this thing is really hosed up, we can reset it by using the third button up here. It just simply clicks it back into the original position. And the fourth button allows you to link drawings in this list. You could theoretically have a bunch of drawings over here, as many, I don't know, I have, you know, as many as you need, I think. I've never gone beyond 10 or 15 myself, but um, so that's what that button over there does. It links it. I'd like to also point out before I move on that anything you do in here, rotating this guy, scaling them all small and making them all silly, uh, is only temporary. It is not any, it is not taking effect. It is not any keyframes. It is solely for the purpose of shifting and tracing your drawings around because if I step out to my camera, as you can see, it is as it is as it should be, as I put it, originally drew it. Stepping back into my drawing tab, we can reset this again. So now what I want to do is take this drawing right here 
and I want to pull it down and I'd like to rotate it a little bit and I want to kind of just get it on top of the head behind there and I'm going to use that as my reference to it looks like I was pretty close so it's a little heavy in spots we can pull back some of these proportions and I'm just going to go right ahead and start drawing this in and I'm using the drawing behind him as my reference point to help show me give help give me a little bit of rotation to the head the brow comes over using F and G I can go back and forth between drawings just like we do in the drawing view and I'm going to I'm working quickly here for the sake of this tutorial I don't want to bog it down with me drawing uh, I'm just want to talk about technical stuff here maybe the neck mount the, um, the nose is like this you know the hairline is around here someplace you know the hair is going like this somewhere this needs to come back a little bit more the neck is here the collar is around here someplace the mouth would slide over something like this and so forth maybe the chin could whoops could round out a little bit more and so forth and if I turn off my shift and trace he pops back to where he used to be if I need to go back and fix things a little more just turn shift and trace back on he goes back to where he was step back out to my camera and there you have it there is the animation of him moving around and using shift and trace I was able to quickly and easily maintain some proportions going back to my original model again this drawing is not amazing I'm moving quickly and I'm speaking at the same time so shift and trace also is I like to point out before I wrap up shift and trace or using the desk quote unquote is a very handy way of pulling out let me just get rid of these hitting escape very handy way of pulling out lots of a couple drawings from a lot of drawings so let me just undo a few things here that I did to set this up in the beginning uh, and here's all of his frames where are they let me see. here they are let me hide the thing I'm working on here so here's all of his frames of him drawing of him walking and here's all the drawings here in my X sheet a whole bunch of them and these particular drawings that I'm showing you were done after the fact and I believe let me find this one was my first drawing so this is a real handy way of say I have this drawing that I did like whatever weeks ago I can send that over to the drawing desk and I can send you know this drawing I did way out of order back here someplace and this is a good way of just nitpicking drawings out of my stack and keeping my exposures exactly how I originally have them set up. So then I can go back in, turn shift and trace on, get my tool and move things around and, you know, pull it back into model again. So that's a handy way of just ripping things out of your exposures without really ruining any of your work that you already did. Uh, what else? Was there anything else for shift and trace? Um, no, I think it about does it. I can't really think of anything else in particular. Uh, I'd also like to point out that your layer, your sub layers are still, or art layers, I should say, are still relevant in this case. So you can still toggle those things on and off. And that is about it. I think that'll about do it for this week. I thank you very much for watching me. I hope you guys uh, will click that red subscribe button in front of you to keep up to date with all my shenanigans. I do the Wednesday Lunch Live Sketch every Wednesdays at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. And that link there, the other link, will bring you to Toon Boom, the beginning of the Toon Boom Harmony playlist. In this description below, you'll see a bunch of links to my Twitter, Google+, Blogger, and Tumblr sites. And I try to update, update them on a near daily basis with sketches and other odds and ends. Thanks, guys, and you all have a great week. Take care.